In this SketchUp tutorial video, I would like to cover how you use the tape measure tool. We're going to find the tape measure tool in the large tool set underneath of scale, and it looks like a tape measure. And then what we have on the screen here is just a very basic model that's about 20 feet by 40 feet. So it's a very, you know, generic size of a building or something like that. So with the tape measure, you're able to hover over any edge or other tape measure line. And what's really nice about this is it allows you to set up um, anywhere from a couple of guides to practically a grid system that really helps you draw. If I wanted to do a horizontal line that's parallel with this top edge, what I'll do is hover my mouse over this edge and you'll see that it really rides along that line. If I click on that and then pull my mouse down, I get a dotted line that's parallel with that. Down in the lower right hand corner in the value control box, it's telling me the distance that I'm going from that initial line. So if I wanted to be three feet down from there, I can type in three feet, enter. And now I have this guideline that's created on the face of that object all the way across. And you'll notice that these guidelines go infinitely out in space. To do that again, I can come up from the bottom. I click on that edge line, pull my mouse up, and I get that dotted indication of where it's going to be. I could say two feet, enter, and there we go. And now we have a couple of guidelines. I can have lines coming off of any edge, so I could grab this vertical here, come in four feet, and I can even grab them off the guidelines themselves. So I just grab that guideline, and now I want to make one that's five feet away from that. I could make another that's 12 inches away, and so on. I'll make this one five feet as well. So you can see that you could set up a grid or whatever you want very, very quickly. Once you have some guides in place, you can use those to draw whatever it is that you want to make. So I can come over and grab my rectangle, for example, and very easily snap to these guidelines. You'll see that when I get to that intersection point, my cursor really pops there and wants to stay. So I can click and drag and click again, and now I've created a rectangle within those guidelines that I've created. Do that again, click and drag. And it was very simple for me to get those exactly where I wanted them to be with the use of the tape measure tool and these guidelines. Once those are there, I can of course use the push-pull tool to do whatever I want to those shapes and move on. These guidelines, as I mentioned, extend out you know, very far, basically infinitely in all directions. So once you're done with the guidelines, you generally want to get rid of them. They can really get in your way. You can get rid of them, of course, by either selecting them, hitting delete, or using the eraser. But you can also go up to edit and delete guides. That can actually be really handy if you have a whole bunch of guidelines that you've created. It will get rid of them all at once.